everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo. And today I wanted to give you guys a fast update that GoodLock 2020 with support for Android 10 is here starting this morning, February 3rd. Now, if you already had GoodLock that was downloaded on your phone, really all you would have to do is head right over inside of GoodLock. And then what you're gonna notice is that a lot of these will just pop right on up. But I highly suggest going to the very top right hand side and then hitting on update and then hitting the update one more time right here inside of your Galaxy Store. Now, if you don't already have GoodLock downloaded, what you wanna head into is called Galaxy Store. So it's not located in the Play Store. And all you'd have to do is that if you're looking alphabetically, yours might be sitting right around here. Um, I did move mine inside of the Samsung folder, so it's a little bit easier to find. Now, once you go inside of the Samsung Store, this is where you go on the very top right hand side, and then you search for GoodLock. And this is where you go inside and then you give this thing a update. Now, once you have GoodLock updated or once you have it downloaded for the first time, when you open it up, you'll notice a brand new loading screen, which looks pretty cool. Uh, and as you go through here, all these different little modules are ones you have to install separately. So GoodLock is just an application that holds all these really cool customization modules in one spot. You also have more over here underneath family. I don't really see anything extremely new just yet, really, uh, you know, with this one other than the tweaks and having it work for Android 10. But there is also an update for theme parks so you can create your own themes. So maybe it'll work just a little bit better than what the original version looked like. Now looking at this screen here, you can see these three little icons. That just means that each of these are installed. Uh, right over here just means that I'd be able to install each of these modules, you know, again, individually. So this is talking about having different styles of multi-window. Uh, one of the things I did notice though, is that let's say we go right back inside of GoodLock. When I click on Lockstar, you might notice that this one is just sitting out right now. I mean, I'm shooting this video at the very beginning of this update being pushed out. So this one is just not really connected just yet to their system. So uh, originally, probably about 10 minutes ago, I opened this up and it opened up and I probably could have turned it on, but it looks like they're doing a few little tweaks there as well. So you'll probably notice a fast little, small little update symbol right over here that, you know, Lockstar got another update. So I'll go a little bit more in depth on all of these in a little bit later of a video. I really just wanted to give you guys a fast update on this one. We're actually still waiting for our baby boy to be born. I was able to come home for just a quick hour, let out the dog, shoot this video and go right back before anything really happens. Uh, but before we go back, you know, this one right here is my favorite, the task changer. And so how I like to have mine set up, I mean, there's multiple different ways and that's what I love is that you're able to change it, but you can change your layout grid of your recent apps. So you can have it look like, you know, stacks like this. Uh, you can also change it over into list. And if you want to see what all of those look like, just go inside of, you know, a few different applications and as you go through some of these applications they're all going to kind of build up and then now that they've built up when you pull up you're going to see what this one will look like so this one right here is going to be uh, this format right there let's go back inside of task changers that one was list if you want to check out stack uh, just lift up and then you can see what stack looks like right over here. So let's say that we go right back inside of here. Uh, you also have your grid, which is the one that I usually use. You have carousel that kind of, you know, just carousels around. Here's your slim list uh, and then the vertical stack. So if you want to see what the vertical stack looks like, it's going to look like this. Uh, and again, anytime you run into any of these things here, you can tap on the icon and you can pin the app. Uh, you can lock the application, a whole bunch of cool, really nice things you're still able to do. Uh, and an easier way of getting into multi-window, right? over here as well so you can just tap here and choose two different applications to do your split window so uh, you know i'm a huge fan of good lock really glad that it's back uh, again just make sure you guys go inside of your good lock application if you already had it downloaded go to the very top and you'll see that there is a update now if you don't have it like i mentioned uh, you know from before just head inside of your galaxy store and then once you go inside galaxy store search for good lock get it installed have fun play around um, because this is being pushed out today uh, you might see a couple of the modules fall off and then regain uh, kind of what we saw there with Lockstar. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.